Hey guys, look what I got. I am so excited. I have been anticipating this. Um, this is their first full size box. They usually send boxes that are about this big. Um, we're supposed to be getting some full size art supplies, a little bit more, and something to draw in. But let's stop talking about what might be in there and let's find out together. So, I have had um, some subscription boxes before. This is my first Art Snacks Plus. I think it might be everybody. Uh, I had gotten an Art Snacks in the past oops, and really enjoyed it. Um, I got a couple of Copics and stuff out of there, but you can get like five different unrelated supplies. And you can do this as well. Okay, I'm overthinking it. Uh -huh. um, so let's see what we start with. Oh, right on top, we have Stonehenge White. You get 15 sheets. It is 100% cotton, which the watercolorist in me is extremely excited about. Um, it does say all drawing techniques, especially colored pencil. It is 250 GSM. I don't know what that is in American. <laughs> uh, reminds me of the 180 pound thickness. Um, there's not very much texture, very, very light texture to it. So that's really exciting. Uh, can't wait to try that. So a full size pad, 15 sheets of that uh, comes in it. And then we have a little, that's cool. It's like a little Ziploc um, top thing to ship everything else. So we have, spoiler alert, we got a Sour Patch Kid. Uh, my son will absolutely love that. We've got a Higgins Black Magic Ink. Looks like it's one of those press to activate. Shake well before activating pump to prime. So a black, looks like a paint marker paint marker of some sort. So we'll see what makes this one any different than like a typical Posca style pen. And then let's see, we've got, oh, what a pretty sticker. That one's beautiful. I love all the intricate, it's like Zentangle type stuff going on. And then some more goodies. And I already know about one thing that's coming. And that is, let me see if it's on here. Oh, 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 this thing right here. I've been seeing it on my Facebook feed. This mechanical pencil. I absolutely love mechanical pencils. So that one, spoiler alert. So that one I know is coming uh, because they've been advertising it as coming into their new one. So let's see what we get first. Oh, we get the Plum Chester. This is the mechanical pencil. It's very, very heavy they've been talking about. So I'm excited about this one. I know that's kind of silly to say, but this is what my drawing preference is. Oops, obviously an eraser cap. I prefer... <laughs> apparently I'm pulling it apart. Uh, apparently these are refillable. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. All right, yeah, it's definitely, it's metal feeling. Um, pretty heavy. So Plum Chester. 0.5, uh, nice thick lead. I'll be drawing with it here in a moment and we'll try to create something. And then what else we got? We have a sparkly pen. Um, here we go, brush, sign, pen. So I'm trying to get, read it and put it in view. Brush, sign, pen, artist. Oh. That was unexpected. Interesting. Oh, that's the color. It's that bright orange color. Okay, so this is, this cap is the color of it actually. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Cool. Got that. Uh, we've got Aqua Pen Graphics brush pen. Uh, looks to be another gray tip brush style firmish kind of brush and the other side has a bullet nib and they say and they mark it on there so this is kind of like a 
cool gray, it looks like. And getting a hybrid Technica pen. I have one of these. These write so nice. This is a very lovely gel pen to use. So, that right there. Gel tip. Very fine on that one. And the last one is another brush pen. Uh, we get a red one. Or I guess more of a, yeah, it's, it is red. So red pen here, Aqua Pen Graphics. And these are watercolor felt tip pens. So looks like we'll be adding some water to those. So that's everything. Um, there is an Art Snacks challenge. So use on the products in your box to create an original piece of art. And we add it to the challenge. I was looking to see if they had any prompts. Um, didn't see any, but it looks like that's everything in here. The graphics aqua pens uh, retail $5.98, the set of two. The Pentel Arts Micro Brush Sign Pen. Uh, it says if you hold it really uh, how you hold it, you can get a very delicate fine line, uh, or you can lay a bold line, depending on the pen's angle. Uh, it's very bright and intense water-based ink also. And then the mechanical pencil retails for $17.99. Oh, the micro brush sign pen is $4.99 retail. And the hybrid Technica gel pen, $2.99 retail. So we will uh, see what we can create with these things here. And then there's another little placard just about Oh yeah, the pump marker. This was also the plus, so I guess if you get the plus box. So the stuff, some of these things come in. So I got the, the white paper and I got this magic pump marker. So that's what came outside of the little art snacks thing. Very cool. So there is an art prompt. Um, it says recreate an album cover from your favorite musician or band. Explore color composition and layering text throughout your piece. Oh my gosh. That was really, really cool because I have one orangey red color here and I have an orangey red color here and one of my favorite artists is Tori Amos so I'm gonna have to look through her covers and see what I can draw up and uh, I will be back there in a minute so let's see what we can do Since it's an album cover, I think I'm going to go for the square format um, because I grew up with CDs and uh, CDs were square. So I'm gonna see what I can accomplish that way. But I'm gonna tape it down and then what I'll do is I'll swatch everything off to one side. That way we can see what um, everything looks like. All right guys, so I am looking for album cover. I want to see what one inspires me. Uh, of course, I remember the ones that I grew up with, and those are the ones with her on the rocking chair. Yep, there they all are. Uh, on the rocking chair, the ones with her um, on the horse. There's one where she does winter. So I'm just trying to see which of these. Obviously, drawing people is going to be something I'm going to have to embrace. Um, if I want to do this, this one might be good. It would be a fun one to draw. Though it would be hard to get her likeness without getting really full in detail. Uh, that one, I love that cover. Man, I know there's one with her on horses. She's usually good about having her face all zoomed in. <laughs> Remember that? It's her first album, guys. So I'm going to look and see if I can find a really cool Tori Amos one. Ooh. Hmm, I wonder if I could accomplish that with these supplies. That would be a cool one, guys. I have to think about that. Um, that one would be beautiful too, but that's not one of her covers. So yeah, see, somebody else tried to draw <laughs> one of them too. So I did take a moment to swatch these. Um, the pen was not as smooth as I had hoped it would be. It had been um, something I was really looking forward to. Not the pen, the Plum Chester. Um, it was okay. It, it wasn't anything super like dense or anything. Um, the little orange one with the fine tip did make very fine marks. Uh, it was a little scratchy. I did try to run water over everything. 
Uh, the other two pens reminded me of Tombow's. Um, they basically uh, didn't bleed as much of those, or didn't uh, the marks didn't go away, so they were. Um, the water would make them spread and pull some of the color, but you would always see the lines that you put under it. So uh, I am doing my best to try to suggest Tori Amos. I forgot she was wearing something really bizarre in here, so I'm pretty much going to suggest it. Um, I know I was probably supposed to reinterpret this, but I really just kind of drew what I saw just because trying to capture her likeness is hard enough <laughs> and uh you got to get the big lips and the red hair and the dark eyes and that's what i was going for Final thoughts. So the Plum Chester mechanical pencil, uh, it was nice. It worked fine. Uh, again, I, I guess I like one with a bit of a softer lead. Uh, the Black Magic was interesting uh, with it being water soluble in some ways, like it would bleed a little bit, but just not enough to be where I could take advantage of some of the dark. So it did kind of stand out on its own. Uh, that one there, the little, the one with the little scratchy tip, it's, it's very scratchy. That's the best way I can describe it. It's a very fibrous tip, but very, very fine. So you can get very fine lines. It lent itself really well to hair. Uh, the technical pen was, was fine. It was just a gel pen. Uh, I've used it many times before. And then the, uh, the orange and that lavender gray that actually, I really like that color. I like how it bled out into that lavender color. So that made for a really great shading effect. Um, the painting started to get away from me. I didn't want to really mess it up too much. Uh, but there'll all be things I will definitely add to my repertoire. I'll play with them all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.